Hey, it's another week and time to plan the week out. And welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you enjoy it today. I'm going to be putting together my planners and I'm going to be putting together the daily planner first. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. Oh, you might want to hit that bell to get notified when I have new videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you would. And we'll get started here in just a moment. Today I thought I'd show you how I decorate my planner for the week to come. And you'll notice I'm using a different planner than I have been. I usually use Tools for Wisdom and I love their planners, but with 2020 being so weird and with us not going anywhere, having a planner that has hours on every day doesn't seem to make much sense to me. And the only place I really go is my chiropractor. You know, today I'm going to go through and decorate this out. This is a happy planner. Um, stay happy. It's a rainbow planner. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, I like that it has, it's a 18 month planner. I bought it though and took out the the first three months of it because they were already over. So I've only got from November on here because um, I bought it in October. But uh, I like the vertical layout for each day. I like that a lot. And I like the fact that it's got a good long to-do list. And I like this little extra box over here. And the fact that I really like the fact that Saturday and Sunday each have their own day. I don't like planners that put them on the same line or bunch them together because honestly, I do as much work on the weekends as I do during the week. Let's get started here. I've got tons of stickers and I'm just going to talk my way through it and speed my way through some of it and, you know, just have fun with it. So this week, I am going to use some stickers from Sticker Guru and it's their winter berry. I love the color scheme, sort of a pinkish rose and mint green. So let's see, I will need, I will need a lot of these boxes and I've got lots of extra ones. And here's how I keep some of my extra stickers from different kits. I just use a Ziploc bag and try to put matching sizes in there so I can just, go through and pull out what I need. So let's see, this week, this week I'm writing mostly and hoping to finish project, um, hoping to finish Hunter's Moon. I don't know if I'll get it done this week. I probably will get it done halfway through the week after that. Uh, so I'm figuring every day is gonna be a writing day. And it looks like mostly next week, it's just geared towards work. I think our solstice, our solstice gathering, which is going to be virtual again, is going to be on Sunday. So I need to remember to put that there. Um, the full moon isn't until the 29th. Now I get my moon phases information from the Griffith, griffithobservatory.org. Um, it's on Pacific time, which helps me because that's the time I am on. Full moon, yes, December 29th, 7.28 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. First quarter is December 21st. The new moon is on the 14th. So I may want to put a notification about that. Although, frankly, I'm not sure if I have much new moon magic to do. I do have definitely full moon magic to do and solstice magic. Solstice is going to be a very powerful, powerful solstice this year. Um, <laughs> what you focus on is what you're going to get. So make sure you are focused on something positive that you want to grow in your life because where you put your focus is where it's going to grow for the next year or so. So let's get right into this. And I found some matching 
uh, sticker washi tape um, that will work well, I think, with this. I think that goes. I think, yeah, I think that really does go. There we go, pretty. It's it's a good start. Oh, now let's see. Every day I do need boxes for writing. It reminds me of my china pattern of the old country roses china pattern, which may seem odd to people, you know, given who I am, but I love china. I love bone china and I collect it. I want my checklist every day. That day, oh great, I didn't leave enough space for it. Well, maybe I'll do a half check checklist on that day. So this is what I've got so far. And now I want to get some actual pretties on here. That's of course not straight. Well, I'm not straight either. <laughs> Oh, I used to joke around with friends. I'm straight as a sink. For those who don't know, yeah, I am bi, and I make no bones about it. My husband knew when he married me, and he was okay with that because I'm okay with monogamy, and that's his thing. And actually, I'm fine with it because for me, it's not that I want both genders or my genders, I guess I'm a bit pansexual. Um, it's that I want to be with someone I love and it wouldn't matter whether there was a woman or a man or, or whatever works, um, as long as they're human. There's my polar bear mama and, and baby. Polar bear is a very important symbol for me. Right now, uh, it's one of my protectors. And polar bear showed up not too long ago in my dreams and made it very clear that I needed to watch myself and make sure that I was warded up and protected. Let's see. Well, I just hate cutting all the pretty stuff off of that. I don't want to do that. Let's see what else I've got. Mary Layton is actually in a planner community with me uh, group, and she has wonderful stickers. They are also um, licensed, as I mentioned in a recent video, to um, sell Amy Brown stickers. Thank you.
Perfect. There we go. Now I get to write just going to, and I'm going to start over here because I am left handed and I'm sticking stickers onto my body too, apparently. Um, sometimes it's just easier to start and go this way so you don't smear things. So I will be writing on Hunter's Moon. Writing, Hunter's Moon, writing. Hopefully I'll be finishing Hunter's Moon this week. If not, I'll be very close to it. Writing, Hunter's Moon. Now on my writing planner is where I put how many words and everything else. This is just to remind me that hey, that day's work is there. And that box is not indicative of hours. That box is primary focus for the day. Okay. And Andrea comes in on Tuesdays, as does our housekeeper. And Andrea comes in on Thursday. Two basic people that I see all week, besides Sam. Um, what else do I need to do? I will need to do some filming. And probably filming. Vlogmas has been an experience for me. I'm not sure if I'll do that next year. But I'm kind of glad that I'm attempting it this year. Just to try it. I'm thinking of reopening my Patreon differently than I had planned it. So I'm going to think about Patreon. Um, I'm going to be needing to order from Instacart soon. You will, I need to check on meds if they haven't arrived yet. I get my meds by mail for a few, or the few prescription things that I'm on. And I sent in the prescriptions and they haven't arrived yet and they need to get here like soon. Soon, soon, soon. Oh, let's see. I've got Sam's presents all wrapped, so I don't need to do that. We're mailing off presents as, we, as I am filming this. Power sheets. I am need to continue working on my power sheets for 2021. Need to call and make that appointment to get the kitty's nails trimmed because they're getting too long. I can't think of anything right off. So for now, this is ready. And it's, uh, and there's plenty of room for me to add things in. Uh, and I'm gonna put this over here. Figure out. Your ritual. It's not going to be done via the Zoom. We're just checking in, but I need to figure out the Yule ritual because, as I said, it's a very powerful winter solstice this year. And what you think about maybe what you get. I hope you enjoyed planning with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I do with my planner. Take care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you.